Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna make a phaser out of an EQ. So I've got re-EQ loaded up on this drum folder. Here are the drums by themselves. Just a simple drum beat using an 808 kit. Uh, let's look at the all pass filter type in re-EQ. An all pass filter doesn't change anything except for the phase of a signal. So by itself, it really has no effect on the sound. Let's hear this. You'll only hear this as a difference if you blend it in with the original signal. So we're gonna change the wet mix down to 50% on the plugin. This would be the same as if you had uh, this on a second track, sending into that at equal volume. So now if I play this back, wherever this EQ point is with the all pass filter, it will invert the polarity. Uh, it'll change the phase in that frequency um, in the surrounding area. So let's hear this. So that's a huge difference in sound by uh, having a polarity inverted EQ point, essentially, mixed in at 50%. So a phaser effect, the classic phaser effect is just a series of these all pass filters linked together and using an LFO to change the frequency. Uh, before we get into that, I just wanna do one more demonstration of this. If we take the clave sound here in this drum loop, and I just center that this filter um, around that frequency, we've essentially removed it completely. Now, because this is a very wide, uh, the bandwidth is very wide, um, that does affect the surrounding frequencies. So let's narrow this down. I've affected the surrounding frequencies a lot less, um, which kind of just leaves a little bit of a click from that original clave. Part of the phaser effect is that extreme cancellation, almost removing that particular frequency entirely. Um, but the thing is, a phaser is constantly moving its frequency, so we get that sort of sweeping, swirling, really interesting effect. So to create a phaser effect, all we need to do is apply an LFO to this frequency. So we're going to uh, touch the frequency control, go to param, go to parameter modulation MIDI link. I'm gonna set the LFO here to um, sweep with a strength of about, let's say 50%. So it'll go from zero to 1K essentially, or pretty close to that. We can use a sine wave shape. We can use a triangle wave. Let's do triangle and we'll do a positive direction. Yeah, so that's all we need to do for this. Now let's add in another band, also an all pass. And this one, again, touch the frequency, go to param menu, go to parameter modulation MIDI link. Now we take this parameter modulation window we're going to, uh, we're not going to apply another LFO. We're going to use link from MIDI or effects parameter. And in this box that says none, we'll change to self and frequency one. And we, now we just need an offset. Let's say uh, the frequency of band two is offset by 10%. Let's hear that now. Pretty cool, let's hear that at 20%. Let's split the difference, let's do 15%, and the next one we'll have at 30%, and then the last one will be at 45%. So I'll just repeat this. And I think that works great. We can also offset the original parameter by a little bit, so it never goes down all the way to zero. Let's 
We can change the tempo. Um, set this to one quarter note instead of two. Let's loop it. So it's much faster. We can also set this to four quarter notes. You can also link the bandwidth controls, even more filters in here, but that's essentially it. You're using an, uh, a bunch of all pass filters, uh, changing the phase, blend it in with the original signal, use an LFO to constantly change the frequency, and then link the other filter frequencies to that original parameter. It's a classic effect, and it's pretty simple to make yourself using just an EQ, as long as you've got that all pass filter option. I think it's really interesting to be able to do that with just one of the stock plugins. I think it's awesome and hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.